Hey minions, welcome to Crank It Up. This is game one of the March Smashness Finals for 2020. We have an exciting match today featuring Cybergate Musketeers being played by Chucky's Cookie or Chucky in the red on the left and Rockstar Ghost played by Blackjack in blue on the right. This is going to be an incredibly exciting match because both of these two teams are absolute powerhouses. They each can break a lot of bases very quickly. I'm joined today by Sonus, who will be live commenting the game with me. Hey everybody, Sonus here. Seen me do a few games, excited to commentate this. I have my guesses, we'll see what happens though. I think this is anyone's game personally, but Sonus and I will be playing game two, where Chucky and Blackjack will be narrating for us, and then if game three is necessary, the winners will play each other. Alright, perfect. Alright, we're ready to begin. Let's give them the signal to start. We had a coin toss before the game that Blackjack, Rockstar, Ghost would go first. So looking at the starting hands, I think Blackjack has a very good hand. He has a number of key ingredients that are absolutely essential for this team. He's got Door to the Beyond, and he's got the Dead Rise. Absolutely, and with the, the group, he's he's got a good groupy option already started. So hopefully after a couple draws, he gets what he needs to be able to just score base, to be able to play it all in time. He's probably worried about going bananas. I mean, I would just be concerned the whole time. Right. If he if he actually played that right now, that would be eight power, and Door to the Beyond would activate immediately. So if he gets any number of good cards, really drop power. The difference is that all the bases are 20 or higher, so he's either going to need a full groupy burst and a little bit of extra, um, or he's not going to be able to do something just completely out of the gate. Oh, man. Leads with that. That could be bad. <laughs> oh. All right, yeah. Okay, this... <laughs> He'd have so to there's go... no surprise there. <laughs> I Boy, just... Is gonna... Personally, I would have been too worried about losing Dead Rise in turn one and just... Or, uh, sorry. Door to the Beyond and not played it. I would have just... Because he can't get that back. Until he shuffles his deck. Well, there is the ring. And the ring could be uh, the squared circle. That could be a tremendous wild card if that base comes out. Um, you could keep spamming the same actions over and over again. Yeah, I think... I think Chucky is feeling really good right now. Knowing that... That's that options for a while. He does have hot venue. That was the other one that you might consider saving it for because the card draw, uh, it's plus one power permanently versus plus two power, you know, situationally. But you do get card draw as well. Yeah. So hopefully that accelerates it for him. Like Chucky's starting to get the things he. Needs. He's got Clyde 2.0. He's got Juiced Up. Oh man. Yeah, he can to battle with Clyde, and then he'll be able to keep his juiced up. I don't think he'll do that now, but... Well, he can play Clyde um, and to battle with the other Baboom. Yep. Kind of like everything he has. I don't think I would discard for I don't think he could add 17. Um, Clyde would be 4 power... He ha he'd be wasting juiced up because he has nothing to do with juiced up. I I mean I just don't think he's worried. He basically only has to worry about haunting plates for the most part right now. One of the problems Blackjack has right now is that he has too many good cards to discard. Um, there's some cards that I really like there. Uh. He's got the Dead Rise. That's going to be the one that initiates the discard if he wants to get the Cream Puff Man. But he'd also be losing Shady Deal and his first chance at Across the Divide. Right. I feel like there's going to be a spirit play for anything that's non-essential. You might see Total Sellout gone, um, Guest Star gone, and Incorporeal Corporal. gone. Yep. Yeah, Guest Star, he can afford to lose. I think it's Cream Puff Man. He's giving Cyborg Apes a lot of time. They just need any time they can get to get Cyber back. Good time for them. Right, but now now that he's got a haunting, that might be his dead rise target. Right. Because you can dead rise, discard the haunting and everything else, and play the haunting you discard, right? 
Yeah, so he's got five. Chucky has five power on Syrup Preserve compared to three. That's going to be a total of eight. Yeah. Uh, Haunting is going to be six. Even if he uses Cream Puff Man here, he can get two groupies as well for his regular minion play. So that would be three, six, plus 12. That's 20. He can break the base right now right. if he wants Cream Puff Man for early points. Uh, I think he needs to... <laughs> think he needs to do it. He doesn't. I mean, he's probably just going to lose the base. And all that stuff's not so bad to have in your discard pile. He'll be he'll be able to get Cream Puff Man out a lot. Well, actually, Haunting will be 7 because of Hot Venue. Right. That'll bring him to 10, plus 6 more from the groupies at 16. He still needs Cream Puff Man, unfortunately. Yeah, which is fine. I think, he, I think it's worthwhile. He's got enough there that's fine to discard for now. What are his options viable scoring? He could pass. Cause he's, because he's incorporeal, he may say, okay, he'll get second place. Just get two points. Yeah. Just get two points. But I still think this is a tough call. He's hovering over Cream Puff Man. This makes me think that he is going to try and score it. He can pass, let him score, total sellout, see what his options are. But that makes him... I don't like that personally because then the dead rise becomes more expensive. Get down to cream. It's hard though because if he needs, it's unfortunate that he needs cream puff man. There's one other thing he could do, um, and it's not that great an option. But what he could do is he could bring the he could bring the base right up to the break point and not score it. Leave cream puff man on another base and just force Chucky to greatly overpay. But I don't know that I like that option either. I personally don't have a problem with using the cream and the score. I have a hand of two cards after and have a great discard pile. Should be able to get cream puff man out again pretty It depends on what he draws. If he draws two minions or two actions, it may not be likely. Yeah, it could end up it's one of each though, then he has a pretty good path. Especially if he gets a classic rocker. One of the two that'd be high rolling. I also think that because Chucky passed so much, he kind of has to break the base here because Chucky's passing ready to explode. Yeah, and I'd have to assume at this point that apes have a play <laughs> a lot of turns for them. Not. One thing they do have is they have both copies of one for all, but they have three minions, they don't get to use it that well because they really have multiple minions on a base. This is not a bad opportunity for it. I just think the, only, the the thing that's really holding Chucky back is the fact that he doesn't have actions to go along with Juiced Up. Right, that's what I was thinking. Other oh, just shielding. Still two power. I'm okay with using one for all. Um, it's in guard I'd want to hold on to because one for all, it's rare that he's going to get three minions on the same base. Yeah. If he do, with no with no extra minion plays, if he does then it means that Rockstar Ghost are going to slam that base in a second. I want to score it without use battle. Uh, I don't think... I just love that card with Cyberback. I'm not, I would not use it here. I wouldn't. So I think he is doing it. He's just doing it in a different order. Yeah, one of them is going to be a group A. So he's going for it. Oh, basically the same thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So good. So good to have in his discard pile already. So for those who are following along at home, what happened is he played a haunting, discarding most of his cards, except for a groupie. He's gonna play a groupie from his discard pile. That will be three power. The groupie will play another groupie from his hand, which is another three power. That will bring out the Cream Puff Man because he has no cards in his hand. Haunting will also activate to become a, a seven, because he gets plus one from hot venue. And that's more than enough to break the base. But if I'm Chucky there, I actually don't lose that much. He loses a Baboom, but nothing really mission critical. He didn't lose one of his Musketeer 4s. Definitely, I think that worked out well for Chucky. Not upset about that in any way, I don't think. But he should be worried about the discard pile of his opponent. 
That is a very good draw. He just got his combo to get Cream Puff back. It's a very good draw. He can go see a rival Rock of Love play Cream Puff Man. That's 11 power right there. But if I'm Chucky, I also know that I'm free of Spirit Warning. So, it makes sense. He's going to go for Monkey Lab. Can't. Let's see. I think Chucky's worried about a make contact play. Yeah. I guess shielding makes sense. Just be safe. Would you play juiced up here as well? No, and and bet that you're going to get a better action next time. Because mathematically, he knows that Rockstar Ghost can possibly break the base. There's no combination of cards that does everything. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I'd be too worried. So we're gonna see. Is he gonna hold on to Ghost Revival, or is he going to? There's only four power. Is holding it. Okay. Yeah, that'll bring out the remaining uh, three groupies. But now this is interesting because Baboom is currently a four. You know, all for one is coming. You know, Juiced Up is coming. He has uh, to play one of them, I think. I think he does. Oh, he didn't. All right. Oh, this is big. This could be a. This could be a double point solo score. If I'm Chucky, I'm doing everything I can. Doesn't have flying monkey. Oh, that's true. Yeah, he so, doesn't. This is a really good hand, though, for Blackjack for his next turn. Like extremely good. Might be able to score any base. Well, a twenty. I think. I think we're gonna see Clyde two point um, and all for one here. It's unfortunate that Chucky doesn't have very many minions because all for one and then juiced up will be plus six. That's going to be plus two more power with Monkey Lab. So that's going to be a gain of eight. Fly 2.0, he's going to play it so that he can get all those actions back. So we're looking at eight power. That's 16. Uh, throw in a couple of musketeer bursts. Yeah, he's going to solo this right here. I'd be shocked if he doesn't. It's just a question of which cards to use. Thing is, Blackjack probably has a good response on Great White North. Probably rather see what comes out. If there's a base with 21 then we know that Classic Rocker can draw a card. Yeah. Just yeah. huge after Cream Man comes out. She can do both Ghostly Arrivals, Classic Rocker, all the group, Cream Puff Man, draw a card. He might even play Rock of Love from his discard pile to get a ghost just to play it. Or, no, he'd probably do Across the Divide right. to play the other two groupies. Yep. Or he could give all his guys plus one. I think two is the same. So it's going to be four plus five groupies is going to be 14, 19. That's not enough to solo Great White North, but it depends on what gets drawn. And here it comes. So that's going to be eight power. So we're going to get a one for all. That's going to add plus uh, three power total, one to each of the minions. Draw a card. Maybe he's mathing it out and will draw. <laughs> so what he's doing is he's using all for one to give himself an extra action, which can lead the monkey on your back. Then his regular action can do the musketeer chain. Now he hasn't drawn a card yet because he's figuring out exactly how much power he yeah, needs. That's what I figured. So he's going to get four points from monkey lab, and then juice up is going to be eight. That Those actions alone are going to be 12. With his minion plays... That's going to be plus seven. Um, with the, I don't think he needs to play on guard there, because all for one is going to trigger three times. Oh, such a good hand after this, juiced up all for one back in his shield. <laughs> and he he doesn't have to use biting time. Biting time is just a free two power. So yeah, he's recognizing he doesn't need in guard on guard. I'm actually doing the math myself. This is a very mathy combination. Ah, uh, that's not what he wants to see. <laughs> Blackjack that is. Great White's is only 21 base and it's terrible. It's also a great base for Cyborg Apes. Because Very you move good. It off. It's its own flying monkey. He has two minions there and one of them is that. It's a double score. And he has no problem moving off his big guy because then he has a second. <laughs> guy scores the yo-yo. So I have, I have Chucky at 22 power before he plays one for all. So one for all is needed but in guard was not. That leaves him with a good hand still. Oh my. He has to battle still. So 
That's a really good turn. He's gonna have Not to discard though. It is. It is deep. Oh jeez. He has. I'm counting eleven cards though. He's gonna have to discard. Yeah, I would do monkey. Uh, no, I would not. If Classic Rocker is coming out, I would not do Monkey on your back. Yeah, but the rest of these let him score two bases right now. I get rid of Shielding, because all it's going to block is make contact. Yeah, I guess if he's just using it, he's going to use monkey on, lose Monkey on your back either way if he uses it to score. Monkey on your back with D'Artagnan is just such a great play. Um, what does he do here? He does two battle, the other applied, and he can just he's still get off from he still does not have Flying Monkey. Um, no, but Great White North he, is pseudo Flying Monkey. Right. So all he has to do is be losing the base, but then he then, then he won't be able to climb 2.0. I actually think that his plan should be to win the to try and solo the Nexus for three points and try and get Monkey Lab back because these bases aren't very good. No. He's gonna want to draw cards here, so he did discard Shielding. Um, which is what I thought. I just thought that monkey on your back is too valuable. Question is, what does Blackjack want? To, can't do. He can only do the big play on Great White. I think he has to start drawing cards. I mean, does he put? I think he puts Classic Rocker out and draws and passes. That might be best. The problem is, is that he can't break the Doyo by himself. If he got rid of everything, right? Yeah, this is surprising. This is not. I wasn't expecting him to do it all. So he, he is going to do it all. It depends on what he draws. Oh, he's splitting it. Okay. That's an interesting move. He's not letting the double screw happen. Without him. Well, not there anyway. So now Classic Rocker is going to draw a card. Oh, that's a he good... He still has an extra minion play. But does he does he toss it or does he play it? I think he's going to toss it. It depends what action. What action is he interested in? I'm going to guess rubies. across the divide. Yeah, more... He has one banked, right? Yeah. And so he's going to put out the other groupies. I don't know what to accomplish. Chucky can score 10. Oh, he's playing the haunting. He scores it. That'll work, That's yeah. a play I hadn't looked at. Oh. That's a really good ball. Because that's going to be 6 plus 5 plus 6. That's exactly 17. That's an important one. Blackjack. See in that the same, play. At the same time, if I'm Chucky, I'm okay with this result. Because what it does is now it clears the board for him. I'd still be worried because he's now he's a two-card hand Rockstar Ghost. Ghostly Arrivals in the file. Classic Rocker's still in play. Has to get rid of Classic Rocker. But... Across the divide should be on the bottom of his deck, though. Oh, it's retirement community. Too bad it wasn't a 21. But, I mean, Chucky can't... I mean, he can score Great White and... and I he, think what's going to happen is he's going to kill... He's going to kill Classic Rocker right here. Well, what about scoring Great White North? Does he have enough to score the Nexus with he moves off? Drop. Put 19 on... It, the only thing he'd lose is he would lose... Um, he would need to do two battle, and he would need to do... Clyde two, uh, he would lose Clyde 2.0. Being 11-8, a good enough lead to get rid of all that. Probably not. He doesn't have Cyber back in hand. Well, he would be... If he uses D'Artagnan, he'll draw a number of cards. Oh, uh, that's true. I, then it would be worth it, if you ask me. Can he... Well, that's a saying, can he put 19 on something? That's the question. I think he's going to do it in two turns. He knows that Blackjack doesn't have a lot. He's got to kill the classic rocker here. I think you're going to see D'Artagnan and then Monkey on your back. That's not a bad play either. Because it's going, to, it's going to accelerate his card draw. If he does it that way, he could put Clyde 2.0 on the Nexus, and then he could still do to battle. Yeah, doing it in two turns sounds really strong. Because he can make all for one be his regular action. The action that affects Young Musketeer will probably be all... Um, one for all, if he still has it. Yeah, he does still have it. Um, which will allow him to continue the chain for D'Artagnan. That's what I would do. He's got a stall here. Yeah, he doesn't have to be worried about his spirit play. Be trying to do the double score. Because it's a lot of draw. But it's gambled draw. Yeah, I don't I don't like that. He's gotta he's gotta accelerate his draw. Go for it in two turns. How many would he draw? Draw something like five cards, six cards. 
this turn. Didn't hit Cyber I, back, though. That would be... I think he still needs a Flying Monkey, though, because um, if he does Young Musketeer, the Young Musketeer is going to trigger, and it'll be a 5, and then Chucky will be losing. He'll be winning the Great White North, and he'll be giving Blackjack another point. No, because he'll move. He'll use Great White North to move off the Artanian. So then all he'll have is... Oh, you're talking about... Five. Talking His other that. minion. If he, yeah. if he goes to, to battle out, yeah, five. Yeah, you don't really want to do that then. If he if he destroys classic rocker, it forces blackjack to play a minion on great white north. Um, I think that's because otherwise ball. it's a safe play, and he can assume that he can get cream puff man back out. He doesn't get rid of classic rocker one way or another. That's a huge play for. The other option is that he can. He can play Young Musketeer with Monkey on your back. Save D'Artagnan for to battle next turn. He's got options. Either way, I, I, I strongly believe that the Classic Rocker needs to die. I agree. That's the best thing to do here. Takes away so much. Oh, but he's not doing it with the D'Artagnan draw. Right, which is, which is the letter thing that I had said. He's saving D'Artagnan for to battle. And it also means that if it's a make contact, because remember, he only has two cards. That could be a minion and make, heart, might make contact. You yeah. don't want to lose D'Artagnan there. Contact with the Sting. Okay. It's, don't mind seeing double score. He still needs Flying Monkey. Yep. If he goes for a Hail Mary or... Does Blackjack bring out the Cream Puff Man? <laughs> I think so. It's guaranteed points on another base. And neither of those things are mission critical. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you Rick Roll on Great White North, Cream Puff Man on Retirement. Probably. No, on Nexus. Definitely Nexus of Retirement. Really, I would think that you would do Nexus and Retirement. It's the most guaranteed point. No, Great White North is three, Retirement's two. He's assuming that he's going to lose it. Right, what I mean is, if he gets second on Great White North and Nexus, he gets six. If he gets second on Retirement and Nexus, it's five. See, I, I'd, be more, I'd be more inclined to look at the floor that he's guaranteed five points on Retirement Community, but he has better upside for winning Retirement Community. Oh, you think if you to play to win it. Ah, uh, keeping... Then again, if... I mean, this is a total win play if he gets second on both of these. It forces Chucky to do Retirement Community instead. It's harder to score. The Cream Puff Man... I mean, that makes it easier for Chucky to double score using Retirement. I don't like that. It's going to drop down to three, though. Yeah, I mean, it just makes it easier. Uh, I'd rather make the Nexus easier. I still get three points. Basically, the main upside to putting it there is it gives Chucky a chance to... I mean, Blackjack a chance to retirement. But. With him drawing the Monarch, that's very good for retirement community. I'm Bla If I'm Chucky, though, right now I'm scoring retirement community. So there's three power already. He needs to add 17. He can get eight of that with D'Artagnan and Clyde 2.0 to battle. He definitely All has it. If he draws Flying Monkey in the whole chain... Well, then it's going to be very... He doesn't have on a roll which makes it hard to play Juiced Up and Flying Monkey, though I don't think that Juiced Up is what he needs here. I yeah. think he needs just power-increasing actions. Go for the Hail Mary. <laughs> so for, so juiced, up, juiced Up would be at least 4. That's 12. Plus 3. He only needs 5. He definitely has the cards that he needs. Two battles, D'Artagnan, and then all for ones. He still has plenty of actions to play. Plenty of drawing to have. Yeah, he's going for it. And he has a chance he has got a good chance to draw flying monkey before he has to commit to a particular route. This is why I didn't like the retirement community option. If he had played on Nexus, he probably would have scored Nexus or done something. Yeah, that's the chain you're talking about. So he's got starting eight power. He has he has uh That, that guarantees That's, it. That Definitely. guarantees it with token affection. Yeah. We got one action, though. He wants more actions. <laughs> so he's got a base of 10 because of in-card. I mean, monkey see, monkey do. That's really good right now. He has the action to spare. Probably doesn't. He's only marked 9 power, but he actually has 10. And he's corrected that. That's good. So he's got 13. 
We know that Flying Monkey is going to be the last power. And with having with having last stand too, that's he could actually. I think he can solo all three. Bases. Oh, because he can I use Great White North's ability. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. And, and that would be that's a game. four plus three plus two. That's going to be nine points. That's a game. <laughs> yeah. Whereas he'd only. It, yeah, that's fifteen to twelve. This this should be game. I mean, it does depend what he draws. He could draw all minions. <laughs> no, because he still he still has biding time. Is that enough actions? He's gonna get last stand too. How many actions does he have right now? Left one. They're, they're all gonna chain together. So he's got biding time. He's got one for all. He's got. I mean, right now is he have one action right now? Yeah. Okay. Because remember that Great White North is gonna give him more power. I mean, he doesn't. Can't chain everything. It'll depend on what he draws. Can't start with one draw. Has to do biding time. He could definitely miss on the draws here. He doesn't want to lead with one for all. This is, well, let's do the math right now. This is a generic extra play. He needs to save that <laughs> for his last. Right. He's factoring that because he hasn't drawn anything. I think this is a mistake. Well, that gets rid of all his actions right there. He can't do it in that order. I mean, he needs to know what he draws. That's why he has to do biding time. Draws. Well, so biding time is going to be plus three. And then one for all is going to be plus two with respect to D'Artagnan. That's five. Last stand is going to be another three. So that's going to be, he's added eight. Blind Monkey will add nine. And we know that it's going to work out either way. Because what what he's doing is legitimate. We don't we can't hear the order that he's playing them, right. but we know that there's a legitimate order. I think what he's doing is he's just going to win retirement community, and then he's gearing up. I don't maybe he doesn't have the power to break it this turn. Yeah, if he drew exactly what he needed, he could score all three bases, but he can't rely on that, and he's not in a desperate situation to try. Right. The question is, do you play last stand to draw two cards? Oh, definitely. Yes. yes. You think so? Yeah, I think you do. Um, so we know we know that juiced up is going to be worth four plus one. That's five power. That'll be to thirteen, and then it's just figuring out exactly what he needs from the rest. Right. Biding time would be. He needs to get two more time. It's really just going to be biding time. He can hold on to that. In Garden, one for all, I would pull back Biding Time personally. Thing is, though, he only scores Retirement Community. It's actually not out of range for Blackjack to win this. At this point, he's committed. He's drawn two cards. He's at least scoring Retirement. I wonder, does he have the power to score the Nexus and then send D'Artagnan for 17 into Great White North and get a 5-3 split? I, I think he needs to draw cards. And he's locked in on Retirement. That on guard. If he gets to... On a roll, it's going to be game, I believe. Okay, so he's rewinding to the point of commitment. We have all for one, where he drew a card, and he played on guard to draw two more cards. He's drawn a total of three cards. Yeah, so here, I mean, you're going to want to do biding time, see what you draw. <laughs> you don't draw the right thing, one for all, see what you draw. Right. Token, probably. He has to do stuff. I haven't done the math. It depends on if he gets uh, oh, on a roll. On a roll would be very big. He really needs to lead with biting time, and I hope that Eric actions. Well, which... We're we're assuming that he's doing that. Okay. We, I mean, I figure. Yeah. We know it's legitimate, and we just we don't have insight into what he's doing. Why he's not? He wants to do token first. He doesn't have an act. I'm confused why he's not drawing or doing token. Can't delay drawing, right? You cannot delay drawing. So he needs to put token back in his. Okay, so this just became game. Oh, he drew a flying opinion. monkey and on he a drew, roll. He drew flying monkey and on a roll. This has got to be game. Because what he's going to do there is go. he's going to search. He, he can. Do his discard pile and do um, if he converts. 
Well, he can't. If he, if he, he can do in guard. He's going to play on a roll. Play on a roll, and then he plays Flying Monkey juiced up, right? Well, he still has other actions that he can play. Well, right now he has a generic action. Well, one for all is going to be the ones... Oh, he drew, uh, he drew two cards from that. Yeah, he drew these two. So here you do on a roll Flying Monkey juiced up, right? No, I think you do Token of Affection to search for in guard. Extra power. Then in guard will be a generic action. Oh, that's what you On a roll to juice a Flying Monkey. Yeah. Guard. I think that's what he's going to do. Then he does on a roll. That's all three bases, right? That's, that should be all three bases with Last Stand and Great White North. He sees that. Great North giving him a Flying Monkey. It turned out to work out though. Looks like he could have stored retirement community without Green Puff, man. Uh, yeah, he's got he's got 21 on D'Artagnan. This is game. Yeah. He doesn't even need last stand at this point. <laughs> Two cards. Plus three power. Well, at that point, he could potentially break something other than the Nexus, whatever retirement right. community. Let's go up. Base. Yeah, definitely get something crazy. Well, he's got to replace the base first. Yeah. yeah. Either way. I mean, he would he'd go there to cap the score, I would think. So now they tie. Not 12. Oh, they tie for first. <laughs> there you have it. It's the triple base score. Yep. I actually love that base for that exact reason. I mean, that's um, the first time I've seen it matter. It's, it is not the first time I've seen it matter. The only I like the ability. I don't understand why it gives plus one. That's all. <laughs> plus one is what I mean. I haven't seen it matter. So, we have our we have the final score for game one. Uh, a lot of meth there with this team, but there's no denying the incredible power if they get what they need. Yeah. We have a final score of 15 to 11. We're going to be doing game two shortly, where it will be reversed. It'll be me versus Sonus. I'll be playing Cyborg Eight Musketeers for the clincher. Sonus will be playing Voxter Ghosts to hold off. Thank you so much for watching. Let's shut it down. <laughs>